<coughs> hey peeps, so um, just thought I'd do uh, some video logs of basically my shoulder injury. Um, bit of background, uh, about a year ago I had some sort of injury in my right shoulder, just doing heavy dumbbell press and like an idiot I was doing it on a fit ball, so an unstable surface and um, that's what seemed to be the main injury and 12 months later hadn't improved so I got it. no one could seem to diagnose it with a, anything in particular so I got an MRI and um, hadn't really heard back from the sports doctor that gave me a referral <coughs> um, been week and a half or something and I thought I was a bit sus on his diagnosis anyway because he jabbed me with first diagnosis couldn't find anything in the range of motion, motion test couldn't find any pain trigger or anything and then came back and jabbed me with some cortisone a couple of days later as a diagnostic and remedial sort of approach didn't do anything didn't didn't feel any improvement whatsoever felt a bit loose um, and then got his referral for an MRI, got an MRI and then hadn't heard back so I went in and got my results printed off and um, yeah so there's a significant posterior label tear in the right shoulder, a little bit of bursitis, come of which bursa. Um, a tiny bit of fluid in something, um, but everything else seems healthy. So it's it seems like the label tear is what has caused all the discomfort. So any pushing movement had caused like inflammation, sort of discomfort, <coughs> um, and it doesn't matter rest rehab exercises, nothing has really improved it directly, fuck, rehab stuff and stretching has helped, but it hasn't it's just um, managed it, and I basically haven't been training, Cause even a, even chin-ups now hurt, um, and yesterday was sort of my first bad day in a long time, where it was just actually aching, and I couldn't really do much, um, I went to work fine, but yeah, it's just the fact that it's gotten worse without any real stimulus that I could think of. Um, so yeah, this is sort of day one of having results and making a plan. And it kind of feels like I'm on my own in a lot of ways. I don't have any physios or doctors that I necessarily trust to give me a solid, competent um, diagnosis and plan. I feel like half the healthcare professionals will just tell me, get surgery, and the other half will say, let's try rehab and see if it works. But they're going to be very standard approaches, and I don't, I just don't trust anyone anymore, because they just guess. They're like, ah, oh, it's probably this, or I think it's this, let's have a go at this. And it's and it's just following a method to see what the results are, but the results are based on what I feel. Like their results are just judged on whether I say it helps or not. And because I've been managing it for a year, it's just sort of constant. It's not like a sharp pain. Like when I had got a bit of knee bursitis from sanding, it's pretty obvious when it's sensitive and sore or it's just a bit swollen or it's fine. And like three days rest, or three days not sanding on your knees, and it's fine. And you take a bit of extra fish oil and inflammatory, and it sort of settles down. But the shoulder's constant; like something's actually torn. So I don't. Yeah, it could well be surgery, intensive rehab, and a full year before it's back to normal or back to healthy and then it will sort of be I reckon another couple of years before I'm back to some sort of strength 
where I can start moving and exercising like I want to. So it's going to be, um, yeah, sort of a lot to digest. No pun intended. Um, so yeah, I thought I might do some video logs of my progress. I guess it's fairly, shoulder, everyone's got shoulder issues. Everyone that exercises long enough seems to. Especially because I know a few CrossFit people. I haven't done any CrossFit, but I wanted to get into Olympic lifting. And the shoulder is definitely going to stop me from doing anything. I can't even do push-ups. I can do about eight push-ups before it is grinding and sore. Like I'd love to go and do a lot of bar stuff and handstands again, but... Um, yeah, I feel like this is going to be 12 months of having to be very proactive, because I could just sit on it for five years and manage it and work and it'll get a lot worse, but it's, it won't take much effort for it to get worse, like it'll get, it'll take effort for it to get better, which is, so this, this is like standing at the bottom of the mountain, like I turn around and I'm just, just been flat so far, like it's been rocky but it's been flat and now I've got to the bottom of the mountain. I ain't gonna make the first step, so I thought I'd just document at the very least the basics and how I'm feeling about it. Which is quite um, apprehensive and intimidated. Um, because I feel like I'll have to educate myself and make some fairly important decisions where what direction I go in. And you could spend six months doing exercises on it, see what happens and it not really be improved or I re-injure it, try and test it, and then back to square one and then surgery, so. But uh, I wouldn't get a few professional opinions, so that will happen. Now that I've got my results, I'll go around a couple of people. Um, I'll wait to see if the sports doctor calls me up. As soon as he's got my information, he knows basically what's going on. I just don't really trust him, which is a, Make sure he knows what he's, he's done the schooling and he's got a successful business, but doesn't mean I trust his judgment. And it's in their best interest to recommend something that they'll make profit off. They, they, <coughs> every healthcare professional I've seen recommends something within their scope of practice, which is logical because that's what they know and it's logical because that's what makes them money, but it isn't necessarily in my best interest and on the patient and the client like as responsible health professional should know where their school of practice ends and when or when they know that what they're doing isn't working and they need to try something else and it seemed like I only got an MRI because I pushed for it, it seemed like I only got an MRI because I went I had to go to a GP to talk about it and ask for an MRI based on a friend's recommendation of an MRI after physio wasn't doing anything yeah, I'm a bit sus, but, <coughs> yeah, let's see how we go, I think I just need to get exercising again and get into a positive mindset and start, yeah, just start some, like, daily improvements and even mobility stuff we're doing has been great, Mark said, you are not your diagnosis, so, just because I've got a tear, that doesn't mean that everything wrong with my shoulder is that tear. I'm sure I can probably support, get stronger and support my shoulder and make improvements. So, I'm sure there's a lot I can do. Anyway, day one, come at me. Let's go, sense applause. Alright, till next time, catch us.